so the thing about the closed games is it's just focus on details. And, you know, we had a lot of penalties, and I know there's a lot of plays we wish we could have back. Uh, so we're just this week just focusing on details, getting back to the grassroots of things, and um, I believe we'll be successful if we continue to do that. And then looking at yourself as well, you had a sack against BC in August. You had another sack this past game. What do you say contributes to your success getting to the quarterback against the Lions? Yeah, it's uh, it's funny. I just feel like anybody can get, you know what I mean, anybody on this D-line, there's so many talented players. So um, I think just being at there the right time, and, and, you know, obviously the rest of the guys that I'm with on the on the D-line, like Wiggs, you know, Rose, Flo, Lamb, all those guys uh, contribute to, you know, each other's success. So that helps me get to the quarterback sometimes. That's going to be my next question for you. We've talked early in the season about how this D-line group is so close, and mm -hmm. you've mentioned some names and even some newer guys, Romeo McKnight, yeah. Terrell McLean. They've all been getting after it. Yeah. Uh, Coach Cornell has done a great job of mm -hmm. elevating your strengths. What would you say has had that evolve over the progression of the season? Yeah, no, we're, we're all so close, man. We do a lot of things together, like, uh, you know, we go out to eat every week, and, you know, where it's, you know, in the meeting rooms, everybody, like, you know, constructive criticism, nobody's afraid to, to kind of say the wrong thing to the wrong person. So, um, yeah, we're just a close group. And like you said, like, you got Romeo and you got T-Mac, and, and, like, anybody can show up at any time, which is a great part about our D-line and, and our defense. You know, we're in, a, we're in a position to succeed for sure, so that's good.